Well, this looks exciting, building gigantic factories on alien planets. New game time. So we'll start by flying in slowly into this nice forested wooden area and some nice iron ore deposits. That's great because those are the first resources we need. Woo! First, we're going to plop down a research center and then we'll build a beautiful, tiny, tiny extractor. Aww. Then we'll take all of the resources, bring them right over here and slap it right into our research lab. Just kidding. I meant to do it this way instead because the game doesn't like turning right there. And then the game's going to cut down trees automatically and then bring them on the teeny tiny extractor all the way over here. But let's be honest, one isn't enough. Let's build four extractors, then my research lab will grow even faster. And by four extractors, I totally meant eight extractors. And now we should be able to unlock the wooden planks. Ooh, shiny noises. And with the wooden planks, we can start building a workshop. Workshops are great because we can open up the details and start making those wooden planks now. Good job, little workshop. Woo! I believe they take two and they convert the two into one. Or they just keep up progress. We'll build another workshop here, and another one here, and another one here, and another one here, and of course another one here. It's always fun destroying the environment. It looks like my factory is keeping up nicely, so let's turn those wooden planks into wooden frames. So we'll build another workshop right... Hmm, you know what? Let's actually turn this. We're gonna delete this piece, and we'll turn that to go into here. We'll bring in the conveyor belt now to go this way. And I'll build a few more workshops to turn those planks into wooden frames. And eventually, we're just going to make factories for the entire planet. Hopefully, that'll keep up. I think it's two to one. And if it is two to one, we can add on a few more things like so. Turn this one to make more wooden planks. This one to make more wooden planks. And we'll be able to build another workshop right in here to make another wooden frame. Nice. Now we have three times going in for that. We should be able to level these up eventually. But right now, we just need to upgrade the smelter. The smelter is going to let us mine iron ore. So let's start this off right with some beautiful extractors on the iron ore. And we're going to have to figure out how to do this properly. Okay, we're going to turn that. No, nope. you go down here. And then we're going to turn the conveyor belt. Nice. We'll move that in. Oh, that worked way better than I thought it would. All right, so let's put down a furnace on here. And then we should just be able to do this, right? Hot dang! That's doing well. All right, Mr. Furnace, do we need a furnace? Oh, we actually have to turn it on. All right, ironing it. Ooh, we can make copper as well. All right, so the iron goes in. I think it's going to be a two to one. Beautiful. All of this will feed right back into a research center. And you know the drill. I'm going to start mining everything. Actually, there's another big iron ore patch here, and there's the copper. So it's time to get those rolling, too. So that's a whole buttload of iron ore flowing in. I don't think it's going to work that way properly. So if we turn there and then turn there, I might be able to have a furnace keep up with this smelting. We're gonna see. I don't know if it's three to one ratio, but we're gonna find out shortly. It looks like it is keeping up. So if that's three to one, then we should really redo these two. That's looking fine. That's looking real good. I also just found out that there's an easy sh keyboard shortcut. I can just click on something, hit B and then spacebar. Easy peasy lemon squeezy build these extractors and then we'll feed all of these down here to the research center great oh that's satisfying i love the way it flows through oh that's a whole ton of iron flowing down in here it's glorious now the good thing is i can give an extractor juice upgrade yay and then i can upgrade it again but i need to get a metal frame so let's see can i upgrade you oh that's adorable i don't know why i need to upgrade that though and does this open up no why can't I make the frame? I need the metal frame. Oh, hold up. Brain thinking. Does that make it in the workshop? Nope. Also, this is really interesting. Over here, we can unlock trees and other decor by just literally giving it wood. So I'll just feed this little forest into the conveyor belt and then try to digest the logs. So I'm going to start making copper ore at this one, and then that's going to feed all the way into our center. And our planet is getting nicely colonized. A few moments later. And just like that, we have a beautiful copper mine going, bringing tons of copper ore and made into bars back into our research lab. And that also unlocks a few things, like a pretty tree. I like pretty trees. And there's a snowman. Aw, it gives us coal. Oh, we need coal to make a snowman. There's stone and then iron gears. We can also make that metal working. The pretty tree is purely decorative. Make one at your factory. Okay, don't mind if I do. Look, I have a pretty tree now. Woo! You know, on second thought, I don't really Woo! like it. It's not that pretty. I just don't like pink things. So we have the coal deposits over here. There's stone deposits here. And we have a giganto iron deposit with uh, wolframite. That's titanium, if I remember Astroneer correctly. Tungsten. Tungsten? 
I don't remember. I don't remember my astroneer correctly, but let's hook this up so I get lots of stones. And just like that, we have tons and tons of stone coming back to our research center. That's awesome. Look at all that stone. I can even upgrade a whole bunch of them. All right, speaking of upgrades, can I upgrade my workshop yet? Nope. No, not quite. But I can make copper wires and iron gears. So let's put another workshop here that we're gonna make a uh, copper wire and maybe another one right about here that I'll build this into copper wire if I can press the right buttons. Good. All right, I don't want it backing up though. So I need to make sure these are in the right positions. Workshop here. Let's delete that workshop, rebuild the road. And by road, I totally make conveyor belt. And it seems like a two to one is working on that. So I can rearrange things slightly better. Straight up move this fella right here. And then we can work like so. Actually, we're gonna go down one more. Turn you, come on, there we go. And over here, we're gonna delete this. We're gonna move you right, ah, uh, shoot, right here. We're gonna move you right here. And I'm hoping we don't need any more copper ore or copper bars, but I'm just gonna go with it as is. So we have two here, two here, then two here. Great. Now we're planning on doing the same thing to the iron ore capacity. How am I gonna do this? I mean, I could just straight up put it here and then hopefully it works. Or, you know, it's gonna back up really quickly. So let's hypothetically say that we're gonna build up a double. Does that work too? Can we do a double feed? Doesn't look like we can actually split from two to one, which is kind of annoying. So I'll just have to get creative and move things around. So now I can make it. I'm hoping that works from two of them. Yeah, we can get a couple more upgrades. Oh yay, decorative rocks. Oh, factory defaults, an electromagnetic Machine shop, oh my goodness. Ah, that's why right there, we need the belt splitter. And still look at all of bajillions of rocks that are flowing in here. <laughs> I kind of want to upgrade those, just to see what happens. And now that we have plenty of iron gears made up, we can unlock speed upgrades. That's cool. And concrete forge with nano wires and workshop upgrades. So if we can get a workshop upgrade, that means I could just do this and then upgrade this bad boy like that. A thousand dollars? What a ripoff. But I'm hoping it can keep up with three thingies now. 150% more. So if it was two to one, now it really should work, right? I think that'll work. Ah, and there's the underground belt upgrade. My goodness, we can go underground. Woo! But we need that nano wire. And what is this thing? A coal power. Hmm. Well, we better sign up for the coal. We're gonna industrialize and destroy the environment. Yeah! My goodness, is this thing ever far away from our base? All right, that was a really bad road too. I'm sorry, game, don't get mad at me. Oh, I am two blocks off. There we go. There is something kind of like therapeutic about this. Just making tons and tons of factories, trying best to optimize your path through it. And then eventually you have something that looks really cool, bringing a ton of resources in. Yes, please. And just like that, the entire coal mine is now backlogged and not able to make it fast enough. Wow, was I didn't know that was possible. I guess that's probably why there's a belt upgrade coming in quickly. Yeah, there it is. Speed upgrade, belt speed 10% faster. Do I have to manually upgrade it? I'm guessing that'll do like 175 items now, 165. So I actually need two here. That's not hard. We'll just change the way things move. Although we're gonna have too many items and that's why it's backing up back here. So I'm just gonna delete these all the way through here. Combine the copper. Oop and the iron together. Also, this thing's annoying me. You should be going faster. Get an upgrade. Nice, now we can get that coal extractor power plant. Don't know why we need power yet, but I should probably build one. And why don't I build it on this path? Just see what we can do. Where if I were a power plant, what would I need? Ex uh, increases the speed of nearby factories while consuming the input. Hmm, okay. Oh, wow. All right, so if I put that like right in here, all of those will go faster. But I don't need more coal. I need to, uh, oh, it's factories. That must be what the in, uh, the under thingy was for. I can't words right now, I'm too excited. All right, if I put that right there. Oh, that broke that thing. Shoot, we do have the underground belt. So it would feed in over here and then it comes up over here. Okay. We'll try that, then I will rearrange this to do something like such as. Do I have the splitter available yet? 
The answer is yes. So if I split a little bit of coal from here into here, all of these factories should start working. Come on, make it under. I think that might be too far away. Ah, yep. All right. So we'll just do a double underpass. Come on, coal. Make it through. There it goes. Very nice. Just kidding. I suck at driving conveyor belts. And now the coal power plant is blowing a lot of steam. Great. Everything here is working in overtime. I wonder if I can upgrade this. I'm guessing there is going to be an upgrade on it. We could also build a snowman. It'd be perfect for the global warming. So I think the next step is I need to get this machine shop here to craft items automatically. All right, I don't know what it's gonna take, but I think we need this to make electromagnets. So six copper wire and then two iron ingots. All right, so we gotta move this thing closer. And thankfully we have iron ingots and copper right in this area. And unthankfully I have everything combined into one. So let's just delete this. And then we're gonna make everything flow backwards. Yeah, that's better. All right, this workshop probably needs an upgrade. And if we're gonna make electromagnets, we need those iron ingots plus these things. So we're gonna tell those to go here. I don't think that thing works as a sorter though. So I'm gonna take the easy way out and then we're gonna turn these bars into copper wires. So this is just a copper factory. I'm also gonna upgrade that machine shop. So it looks like it's a little bit behind. Then we have only copper wires coming out of here. I'm gonna do a little bypass and we'll turn this into a workshop too. This workshop will turn whatever is not being used into iron gears because that's the next step that's super important right now. Great, all right, and these things are mostly here. We're gonna have to split them. And I think just because I can, I'm gonna put workshops on all of these. You come down one more. Good, you come down one more, you come down one more. Very nice. So these are making all of those things. We are starting to create the machine shop. Nice, there's the electromagnet, finally. And this might seem a little bit odd, but we're gonna do this too. Great. Not great. And finally, we can make those metal frames. Metal frames allow us to get the extractor upgrade number two. And wow, the silicon's coming up quickly. I'm guessing the metal frames. Yeah, one wood frame and four iron plating. My goodness. Is there another iron? Oh, wow, a long way away. We could tap into this one, I guess. It's pretty large. And the best part is we can upgrade these things pretty quickly too. All right, so those metal plates are gonna be coming up into here and I want to put in this machine shop right on that thing. This is where the game is just getting a little bit crazy because I need to like delete you and then we're gonna remove you over and then you're gonna come back this way. And all of the things that I've been working really hard on are now just kind of breaking in my brain. That, that's about what's happening. Okay, you can come over here uh -huh, like that. And now we have all of the wooden boxes coming in. We're also starting to get a little bit of these metal plates, but it's not that much. Fine, you just want it, there you go. And I'm hoping that I don't back these up, but it looks like I'm starting to. These are also turning out really quickly, so I think I need to feed in another entire system, which I can easily do. All we need is just another underground belt and then connect there, and then we'll take that, connect there tell this furnace to start making more iron. Good, so that's significantly better. These are working pretty well. I don't need to upgrade them, but I upgraded the mines. I guess we could upgrade these mines. I have a little extra money. Sorry, the extractors are not real mines. And then we'll tell this thing to start making metal frames. It's gonna take a little bit more time for these iron plates to get there, but it will work really well in the future. Now we need silicone, which I don't know what it's gonna do. Maybe that's a new resource that just popped up. Is that what this is? No, that's uranium. Nice. Need that in real life. There's some more coal. Not really using coal because it's kind of annoying. But real talk, how do I actually get that? Okay, sand is in the workshop, silicone in the furnace. I'm just gonna pop down a workshop here and can I make sand out of this? Hello? Oh yeah, there's sand. There's one stone. I have a lot of stone. Oh look, it's grinding it into sand. Neat. All right, we're gonna delete that and unfortunately rework our entire system. It looks like our machine shop is starting to make metal frames. That's great. And we can get upgrade our furnace. How deep does this tree go? My goodness, I didn't realize it was that big of a tree. I was just over here wanting to get uranium. Look at all these upgrades just for conveyor belts. An earth token. There's teleporters and junk. This gear statue takes 2,000 gears. Okay, so I converted this entire stone area into sand. Don't mind that one. That was just a leftover straggler. 
And I'm kind of surprised how far backed up these iron plates are. I almost need another one. Thankfully, I have a little bit of room. This is going to be interesting. Let's delete you. Slap in a belt splitter. Tell you to come... Wow, we're going to have to come out and around. And then, voila, we'll have two of them going. Woo! Neat. Another metal frame. Connect that there. Awesome. And that'll get me the speed upgrade on the belt again. Not the best thing I need, but it'll work. Okay, this is interesting too. So the silicone turns into, or the sand turns into silicone. So I should be able to split this even further. I wonder how much I'll need to split it. But what we'll start with is just a single furnace. Let's just make an array here. We'll do one. Okay, and then we'll tell you to turn into silicone. Then I will split this and make another one and another one. I'm thinking three, maybe the magic number. We'll make another furnace. We'll make another furnace. And then we'll connect these two. I'm wondering if that's not enough, but let's go ahead and level these up just in case. I think that's actually working. I think that's the proper amount. We got a lot of silicone too. So the good news is that this entire rock mine is being fully converted into silicone. I've also added this and expanded my base's power supply. Woo! I feel like it's doing pretty good. We also are way running out of things there. So I might need to build another uh, machine shop to make the gears, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I just need storage. I also don't know why I need storage, but the game just gave it to me. Instead, what I think I'm gonna do is slap on a splitter here and then just uh, kind of drive that right down here. And I put that splitter in wrong, so let's redo that. Give me that. Wrong button again. Come on, round. Good. So it's gonna split. We're gonna get copper wire down there and in there, which should help me get some of these other upgrades. And this still isn't enough. I'm super backed up still. Okay, Um, let's remove that. We're gonna bump all of this down one right to here. I'm gonna turn you down that way. How do I do this best? Because I have to jump this somehow. So I'll put a splitter, another splitter. We're just going to split the split so much we split. And then we'll come across. We'll jump under it. Then I'll turn you that way. Then I'll need to split this one to come out here. Make another machine shop like such as. And hopefully that works a little better. We're making a ton of these things now, but I think it's worth it. Also, our coal supply is backing up, which is kind of exciting. Like we're actually using most of it. I mean, I could expand a couple more power plants and then make it work better, but I guess I'll get that circuit boards instead. Ooh, <laughs> computers. And then this is robotics. We need wood planks for robotics. This is getting a little bit complex. I'm really hungry for lunch and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll have to let me know down below in the comments. And of course, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, Ninjor, General Harris, Trent M, Could I Know, Ritla Warrior, Keegan H, Zarna, Maxer, Rao, VC Engineer, Sakarzmarex, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Toxic Wolf, Eli M, Nitrox, Nitro, Jaden A, Kyler J, Missing Sniper, Fussy Badge, Peyton Plays, Mr. Cripple One, Zane W, Sikander D, Dalton C, Red, Skunk Chess, Dub Rules, and Splatter Sex.